Hello, I'm Almaz, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve the unable to create input format exception faced in Amazon Athena while running queries. Let's get started. The unable to create input format error can occur for several reasons. In this video, we'll discuss two common scenarios and how to troubleshoot them. Scenario 1, one or more of the AWS GRU table definition properties are empty. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Athena Console. Here's the example data that I have in Amazon Simple Storage Service. I created a table by running the AWS GRU CLI command. I'll run a basic DML query against my table that was created. My query fails with the mentioned exception. To understand further, let's check the table in AWS Glue Console. Now go to the Tables tab. Search for the table. Open the table. Choose Edit Table. Check if the values for input format, output format, and survey serialization library are populated or not. Be mindful that the survey that you specify defines the table schema. The survey can override the DDL configuration that you specify in Athena when you create your table. In my table, the input format is empty. I miss this field while creating table from CLI command. In input format, add the relevant value based on the file format of the table. Save the settings by choosing Apply. Let's go back to the Athena console and run the DML query again. The query is running successfully. This means that we fixed the issue. Scenario two, Athena doesn't support the data format for files in S3. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Athena Console. Here's the example data that I have in Amazon S3. I created table by running AWS Glue Crawler against the path. I'll run a basic DML query against my table that was created using AWS Glue Crawler. My query fails with an exception. To understand further, let's check the table in AWS Glue Console. Then go to the Tables tab. Search for the table. Open the table. Look for the classification field and its value. Here we see the classification is XML. Currently, XML isn't in the list of supported classifications of Athena, and thus the exception. To resolve this, you can run an AWS Glue ETL job on this table to transform the data into a classification that is currently supported by Athena. To check the supported formats, in the Athena documentation, go to the survey reference section. Then choose supported surveys and data formats. we can see that XML isn't supported. You can choose to transform XML data in one of the supported formats and then query again with Athena. I created a Glue ETL job with the script proposed by AWS Glue itself. With the source as the XML table, create new table at the data target option selected and provide an S3 path for the data target. After successful run of the job, it created JSON files under the specified S3 path. I then ran another AWS Glue crawler against this path containing the transform JSON files.
post the successful run of AWS Glue Crawler, it creates another table pointing to the transform data in JSON format. Let's query this table in Athena. We can now successfully query the data. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.